Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. In today's video, I will show you how to install the Android stock version 4.2.2 Jelly Bean on your HTC One. Now, as you know, Google recently released HTC One Google Edition, which is running the pure Android Jelly Bean 4.2.2. And this, this ROM has no add-ons attached to it. So in this video, I will show you how to replace your HTC Sense UI with the stock Android Jelly Bean. So first and foremost, you have to unlock the bootloader of your phone and root your device. After you do that, installing a custom ROM is going to be easy as pie. So before you do anything, uh, watch my video that details step by step how to unlock and root your HTC One. I will put a link, a direct link to that video in my description section below. After that, come back here and watch this video. Now, if you already have done the routing process, then stay here and let's get started. So the first step is to actually create a full backup using your existing custom recovery. I'm currently using the Clockwork Mod Recovery, which makes backup very easy. So let's show you how to do that real quick. So uh, power off your device. And then using the volume down and power key, pressing them at the same time, start the um, fast boot status. And then navigate to recovery using the volume up or down. Once you're there, press the power key to go into the recovery. So we're going to boot into the clock work mod recovery. This is the touch version so I can touch the screen to navigate. So go to backup and restore and then just tap backup and it's going to start the process. After it's done it's going to tell you that backup is complete which I'm not doing because I already have a copy done. So after you're done though go back to reboot the system and just restart the system as normal. And just to clarify, this backup, this method of backing up, backs up your entire phone as it is. So you're not going to lose anything once you restore from this backup. All right, just, just to make that clear. So let's move on. All right, so once your uh, phone boots back up, I'm going to have you connect your phone using the micro USB cable to your computer. And the reason I'm doing this is because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that backup we just created and put it on my computer as an extra backup. And then uh, we're going to move on to the next step. All right, so once we're looking at the computer, I want you to go to my computer. And when you connect your HTC One to your computer, it's going to pop just like this. Go inside, go to the internal storage, and then the backup that you just created using the Clockwork Mod Recovery is actually saved in this folder right here. It says Clockwork Mod. Go inside, go to Backup, and this is the backup that we just made. And you can see the date right here. It's um, June 29, 2013, and a bunch of numbers right next to it. That's how you know it's today's backup. That's the day I'm making this video. So go inside, and this is all the backup files. What I did was I just copied this whole folder, copy, and I made a backup folder on my desktop right here and I pasted the whole thing right here which I'm gonna do right now so you can see okay so the backup is complete and just wanna clarify one thing the only reason I copied my backup from my phone to my computer is for emergency secondary backup additionally you can go back to your phone now and you can delete this backup because you already have a copy on the desktop and the reason you may want to delete this backup is because it may be too big okay so if you look at this backup it's 2.84 gigabytes so that's a huge file I may not need that um, file so I may want to delete it I'll just keep it because it's not that big and I don't have too much stuff on my HTC one as of yet okay so just make sure you do that and now we can move on to the next step all right, so the next step is to download the HTC One stock Android 4.2.2. You have to go to this website that you're looking at. It's a very long link, so I'm going to post this link in the description section below 
so you can go ahead and click it so once you're on this website here okay what you want to do is you want to scroll all the way down by the way these are the screenshots of what it's going to look like the stock version of Android all the way down here in the download section you've got a bunch of mirrors where you can download this thing uh, the file is I think uh, 700 megabytes large so depending on your connection it may take a while but um, this is the guy right here big C who made this available so you know props to him and um, so download this ROM once you have downloaded the ROM this is what it's gonna look like right here okay so it says big C M7 blah 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 so what you wanna do now this is a very you're almost done nothing else really to do here so what you do is you go back to your my computer you go to HTC one you go to internal storage and you take this file this custom ROM copy and paste or just move it over to the the root of your internal storage on your HTC one okay and once you do that we're done with the computer I'm gonna go switch back onto the phone and show you what to do okay so the process is complete let's switch over to my phone and show you how to install the stock uh, Android ROM okay so we're back on the phone I'm gonna turn it off disconnect it from your computer turn it off power off and then go into the recovery mode press volume down power at the same time and there we go so navigate to recovery press power okay and then what you wanna do is you wanna wipe this phone clean so the first step is to click this button right here and then press yes so this is cleaning your phone is preparing the phone for the custom installation we're about to do once you're done I want you to wipe the cache so wipe the cache and it's cleared now what you want to do is you want to do go to the option that says install zip from SD card that is going to take us to the internal storage where we just put the custom ROM into so when you go there and you click let's see okay it says choose zip from SD card so click that and at the bottom here you will actually see um, okay so you scroll all the way down keep scrolling and here is that ROM that we just placed onto our, our, our phones internal storage from our computer Bixie M7 blah 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 okay so all you do is you tap that tap it and then it says you have to choose yes install so click yes and the installation process begins currently what's happening is it's installing the stock version of Android 4.2.2 onto your phone I'm gonna keep this video running but I'm gonna probably fast forward it to the end okay it looks like the process is complete once the process is complete you want to go back go back and then you just want to click reboot the system and let's see what happens and look instead of seeing the login screen of the HTC we're seeing the custom ROM being loaded so if you were to go and buy a Google Google version of HTC one this is exactly what you would see okay so let's um, start the process connect to my Wi-Fi ok 
Okay, I'm just going to say no to that. Not now. Forward. Let's just say Saki Tech. Done. Next. Setup is complete. And look at what we got here. Stock version of Android running on my HTC. This is a beautiful, beautiful feeling. This thing is super fast. No lag, whatever. And then, <clears throat> for those of you who, who are familiar with the um, with the Jelly Bean 4.2.2, you know you've got all these nice things on the top. You can tap, and you have the quick options. You can change the brightness. You can change the little settings, like whatever. Um, we're gonna go into the details in another video, but this is how you install the custom ROM, and now you're good to go. Well, thank you for watching this video. Uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos like these to come, and uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. I really appreciate that. And once again, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, pop them in the comment section below, and I'll be able to answer you. Thank you very much. Bye bye.